Hello and welcome guys. Um, today I'll show you guys how to make your own leaf fall particle system. It's quite basic. As you guys can see there's a lot of leaves um, at the moment falling through but this is just to show what the particle system actually does. So first of course we need to have a tree. Now my tree is from Treeit which uh, you guys can check on my channel. There's a full tutorial on how to use that or you can download the trees um, library from Unreal Engine forums. Someone has them posted it for free. So first thing we need we need a texture for our leaf now I have gotten this texture from um, cgtextures.com which matches uh, my tree leaf texture pretty well so I am using this one and then what I'm going to do is uh, from here it's going to make a new folder quickly I'll call this tutorial now inside here I'm just going to drag this texture inside here so inside here we can right click on our uh, texture and create material then we will double click and open this material and inside this now uh, the textures um, that, that you will need needs, needs to have a transparent background and it needs to be a PNG which you can of course get from cdtextures.com we'll connect this the alpha into the opacity mask and from the base we will uh, we'll type multiply here and we'll add a multiply node and we'll connect this to the base color and we'll press V and left click to bring in a vector and I'm just going to call this color. Once we've done this we'll select the, the main material itself, we'll change the uh, blend mode to mast and the shading model to two-sided foliage and we'll also ch check two-sided down here. Then we will add another multiply node, we'll connect this to the subsurface color, we'll bring in a node from here and we'll press S and left click and we'll change this to 1 and we'll, I'm just going to call this sub because it's my subsurface color and this is um, pretty much it so now let's just save this and we will minimize and from this we will make a material instance now in here we'll open our material instance and we can change the color um, down here so I'm going to choose a green to yellowish color and as you guys can see both sides of the um, texture are now uh, nicely visible so you just want to roughly make sure that this color matches the color of the leaves on your tree then from here we will um, in here we'll right click and we'll make a new particle system and I will call this uh, p underscore leafal now once you have this um, we can double click and open this in the required we will literally just um, uh, select required and we'll drag the material instance um, down here so we drag that in there and then that's um, pretty much all we need to get started then in the spawn I will put the value to 3 now this value can change as as you guys seen in my scene the value here is 3 but um, it might need to be lower to make it a bit more realistic then in the lifetime, I am using um, 25 on each, but this depends on um, how tall your tree is because you want your leaf to uh, to be alive until it actually hits the ground. So lifetime mine is 25, and then um, initial size. Now I have changed my initial size to 15. This just works for me. You guys might need to um, adjust this according to the, your your leaf size or your tree size. And then the uh, initial velocity. So initial velocity, I'm using 100 on the x and the y uh, max, and minus 90 on the z max, and minus 100, minus 100, and minus 100 on the x, y, and z minimum. Now this uh, this this allows a bit of um so velocity is the um, direction that your leaf or will um, shoot towards. Now obviously I want mine to go down but also go towards the x and y axes to make it look varied and nice. And we can delete the color over life module. We don't need this one. Uh, next thing we need is we need an initial location. So we'll go to location and we'll bring in an initial location. Now for this I am using a 300 on the x max and 300 on the y max and then minus 300 and minus 300. Again this uh, will uh, might vary for you depending on your tree size you just want to make sure it roughly covers your tree. 
And then the next thing I'll add is a collision module. So collision, act collision, and I'll just leave it like this because I just want, uh, as soon as it hits the ground, I want it to be killed. I don't want it to be uh, to remain spawned. And next I'll add an orbit module. Now for the orbit, I'll um, for, so for the max I'll do one, one, and one, and for the minimum I'll do minus one, minus one, and minus one. Next we need a rotation, initial rotation. So I'll do this uh, 0.5 minimum and maximum one, and then I'll go to rotation rate again, and initial ro uh, rotation rate. For this again, I'll just do. 0.5 and 1. Now we will save this and we can drag out our leaf particle system into the scene. And let me just drag it on the other side so you guys can see clearly what it's doing. So as you guys can see, it's now exactly spawning the um, leaves. So this is the uh, basic leaf particle system and then the way I have um, put these together is so what we'll do is here going to right click and create a blueprint class and choose actor and this I will call um, I guess lethal BP now I'll double click and open this so inside here I'm just going to drag this on the other screen and open this here so inside here we're just going to drag and drop so from our um, from our content browser, we're just going to drag and drop our particle system in here. And the second thing you need to do is you need to find your tree uh, wherever you have your tree. And we'll also just um, drag and drop our tree in here. So now our tree is in here and our particle system is in here as well. So I'll select the leaf fold and I'll drag this. So not this. So make sure before you drag your tree that you have this selected and then we'll just drag our tree in here. Yeah, and now this way it's not. Um, parent it to the leaf fold. Then we'll select our leaf fold particle system and we'll drag this up. And as you guys can see, now the leaves are falling. Of course the um the color is not matching uh, right now but um we can adjust that later on. Now then um so you can drag this as high as you like where you want your um leaves to um originate from inside the tree. We can compile this and now we can actually go ahead and a drag out our blueprint that we have just made. I'm just going to drag this out and as you guys can see after just a little bit of a delay the leaf fall should um, start working and and you can definitely see the leaves falling down and it kind of matches the um, the color as well. Also if you guys wanted you could also add these um, inside the blueprint you could also add these leaves on the ground which I have done down here for this you just need a, um, a a simple plane and you might need to use um, Adobe Photoshop or um, GIMP to add um, different leaves together which you can then just um, put down on the ground. If I show you guys the way I have done this, I've made this texture inside GIMP. I just um, copied and pasted the leaves in multiple places and then I'm using a simple plane which is just four vertices and two twist counts. And I have added that onto the ground, which kind of um, gives the effect that leaves are actually falling on the ground as well. So, but in the um, other cases, as you guys can see down here, when the leaves hit, hit the ground, they simply disappear as they are killed. So this is it guys, this was a basic um, leaf fall particle system. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video.